really big challenges facing the sector at the moment is auto enrolment. Now in principle the sector really supports this because it means that more people will have security and safety going into their old age. But for specific cha charities there are challenges responding to this, particularly small charities who haven't quite got their head around the, the changes in the sector and the policy at the moment and, and, the, and the employment law. But also for, for specific charities who have a lot of uh, part-time and flexible workers, they're going to have to really understand these changes and really start supporting and putting, uh, putting policies in place to make sure that they're responding as an organisation in the right way. Auto enrolment can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be that way. What we've put together is a dedicated team of people that will hold your hand throughout the whole process, looking at the cost issues, the employment issues, any changes to contracts, coming out with a solution that's robust, it meets all the requirements and it follows good practice. A recent client we've been advising on auto-enrolment really didn't know where to start. What they wanted us to do is to literally look at their existing pension arrangements, to look at their contracts of employment, to review whether their um, current contribution levels on their pension scheme would be sufficient, whether their existing pension arrangement was fit for purpose and would comply under the new rules and regulations, and basically report back to them with a project plan that ensured that their scheme was fit for purpose and would be robust and a quality benefit to offer to their staff. So we've been working with Foster De Novo to get some specific advice for charities to prepare for these changes. The first thing is be prepared early. Get in there early so you can really understand these changes before they really impact your organisation. And secondly, be aware of the financial implications for your organisation and get a project team up and running now so that you can start embedding them within your organisation. During 2013 we've advised 20 of the largest charities on preparation for pension reform. What we've learned from those charities will be invaluable with the employers that stage both next year and the year after.